What is going on, y'all? It is that time again. It is time for another NFL Hall of Fame TTM autograph project. Holy shit, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so this dude is one of the freaking offensive stars of the NFL back in the 70s. Um, extremely underrated. I know I say that a lot. Um, but, you know, when you talk about guys back then, you, I don't, I don't know, you think of like the big, big name Hall of Famers. And a lot of these lower name guys just don't get the recognition. Um, 11 time, what was he, 11 time pro bowler, but only one time all pro. Um, so that is that. Um, I'm just sitting here, I am in the garage, I'm just chilling out in the pool um, here in the garage and thought I would just shoot this video real quick. My wife's inside with the daughter watching a movie and all the lights are out. So, gotta get why the getting's good and just came out here. So let's turn this bad boy around and show you what we got going on. So here we go. It is Tom Mack. So, one hell of an offensive guard and an amazing TTMer. Um, this particular video, I will not have the donation. Um, I plan on sending a $100 bill. Um, yes, that's a, you know not as much money in the past, but he does sign for free. Um, he never requires a donation, so I think I'm sending 13 cards, I believe. Um, and if I were to get all 13 cards signed, I could never get $100 um, in resale value. So I feel like it's a fair offer considering his status. So this is his 1970 rookie card um, in fairly good condition. Uh, I already have this one signed, I think twice. But hey, if you're going to send off the entire project, you got to start it off with a nice rookie card. Moving on, I think what's funny is a lot of these guards and linemen cards from the 60s and 70s and early 80s, they have so many cards where in these, they're in these uh, three-point stances. So, really cool. I love the little guy down there in the bottom left, like just dragging his knuckles. This card, the 1972 Tops. Um, I didn't do my research on this particular card, and I should have. So, this card cost me $35. Okay, if you were to take the other, I believe it's 12 other, I think there's 13 total. If you were to take the other 12 cards, you could literally buy all 12 cards at least twice, maybe three times for the price of this one card. So I don't know what the deal is. I know it's some kind of like a, a high number or shorter print card from back in the day. Um, but this thing was so damn expensive to get. Um, it's in really good condition. Um, so happy to get that. I believe I bought that you know, I got that from Dean's Cards on eBay. After I missed one on an eBay auction, it ended at like 38 bucks, and I just went on there and got this one in a better condition. Moving on, there's another one of those nice three-point stance. And I think this yeah, this is the Wonder Bread cards from back in the day. So this isn't his normal card from this year. Um, his normal tops card, but I really am sorry for the shakiness. Um, I really like these cards. I think they're really cool, pretty nostalgic. The food cards. You got that 70s stash and that, that white man afro. <laughs> My dad was a Houston police officer in the uh, 80s and 90s, and he had one of those. Actually, he had the old man fro like him and the mustache. This card, um, this will definitely be a small TTM project. I've taken this TTM project on once before, and it ended great, and that's getting Larry Little after Tom Mack signs it. <laughs> Another three-point stance. And that is that. So there you go. That's the entire project. 
Um, one thing I haven't shown you what I've been doing is I've been putting the projects in these little Ultra Pro cases. Um, so far, all of the player era sets have fit in there, and I put a post-it note in there for them. And so this one says, can you inscribe Hall of Fame 1999 and 11-time Pro Bowl? So they kind of get that. They see what your request is. They see your donation. And if all goes well and you don't sound like a complete horse's ass in your request, all should go well. So let's see what happens. This might have been the fastest player arrow project turnaround ever. So eight days. Um, let me see if I can cover up my address here. So eight days. He finished writing the rest of his address there. Um, uncanceled stamps for the win. Uh, <laughs> I'm absolutely infatuated in getting addicted to these player error projects. Um, some of these guys I've been trying to send two cards to, two cards to, forever. And I wasn't getting shit done. Um, yes, this is an expensive hobby not hobby this is an expensive uh kind of way about going to do it but it saves so much time and it gets it all done at one time and if everything goes right which that's the big huge variable if everything goes right they use your marker which is blue that's what i send i have just a couple blue i have just a couple blue sharpies right here um grab one of those send it all of your cards are in blue ink, which is preferred, and it's done, and you're done with the set, man. So that is that. Let's turn this thing around and see what happens. So this is take two of this. Um, I just tore it open, and I realized that my address was showing, so I've cut it. I haven't done nothing. I haven't seen nothing. There's still something in here. I have no clue what it is, and I just pulled this out and haven't looked at that, so... Now you're up to speed with me. Um, there's something heavy. This is a coin. This is a challenge coin. Um, the freak is this? My gosh, it just got dark in here. Now oh, what the heck? Let's see what this is. I know all about challenge coins. I have to turn on, let me turn on the light. I don't know what the heck's going on outside. It keeps getting lighter and darker. Okay. So, being in the military, I know all about challenge coins, but this is very, very cool and very unique. Um, Tom Mack, 1966 to 1978. That's the years he played in the NFL. Los Angeles Rams, 65. Um... <laughs> There cannot be a whole lot of these floating around. This is pretty damn awesome. That is really freaking cool. Um, like I said, I haven't looked at these, but I'd imagine if you sent something like that, these have to be signed. If you remember, there's my note. Um, which I... And here's what we got here. Um, wow, this is nice. Let's... Well, that's not my card already, I could tell you that. Um, he likes to send one of his own cards when you send a TTM. So, let's get into this. I did ask for the um, Hall of Fame inscription and the 11-time Pro Bowl, which um, he didn't do, which that's perfectly fine. I mean, it is what it is. So, that is very, very cool. Trying to get the... There we go. That's perfect. Man, these things look so freaking good. This is that card that I told y'all for some reason is so damn difficult. Um, and like kind of the 99 right there smudged for some reason. This is kind of the one card that if I wish there wasn't one that smudged, it would have been this one. But hey, once again, it is what it is. I don't remember... The donation that I sent him. I'm wanting to say 60, 80, maybe. I don't I don't know. I know I don't think it was a hundred. Um, just because he's kind of a lower tier Hall of Famer and signs like bananas. But hey, once again, 
you're at the mercy of the player when you send these items TTM. And whatever I sent him, it was definitely worth it. Holy, what? <laughs> There's an 11 time Pro Bowl inscription right here. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess you just decided to do it on one card and not the rest of the cards, I guess. Freaking absolutely love getting these player era set returns. Like I could probably make this a 15 minute video just staring at these cards. And there's another 11 time Pro Bowl inscription. <laughs> this is very, very weird. Um, I like this particular card. This was from Topps Wonder Bread All-Star Series you see up here at the top. Uh, very, very cool. I said, I don't know if I said it earlier in the video or not, but I like these little food cards. I think they're very cool. Man, these things are just so freaking beautiful. Um, this is a card that I've TTM before. I actually got both of them to sign it before. Um, Tom Mack and Larry Little are both Hall of Famers. And so, I don't you know what, maybe I should do Larry Little sometime in the near future. Um, I think he's another guy that I probably would have pretty good success with. <laughs> I think Mr. Mack was just signing and inscribing whatever he wanted to. Um, here's an, another 11-time Pro Bowl. And that card looks like it's signed in black. But when I move the card just right, it's definitely in blue. That is really, really weird. Because you look at it straight on and it looks black. I don't even know if you could tell. You could tell down here, probably on camera, that that's blue. When it goes across the A, you see that it's blue. But the rest of it looks like it's black. That's very weird. <laughs> Oh, yes. And another. Oh, was this a Wonder Bread card? I didn't even realize that till right now once that card fell. This is another Wonder Bread series card from 1976. Holy smokes, man. I didn't know that. I thought this was just an, uh, a player era card. I didn't know this was a like a special series, if you will. That's, that's different. And another 11-time Pro Bowl. Mr. Mac just went rogue on these inscriptions. <laughs> and this is his last player era card. And it looks absolutely freaking beautiful. So nice. So excited to ha add Tom Mac to the player era set complete completed. And this is the card that he sends with majority of his um, TTM returns he'll send you this card for free and he inscribed 11 time Pro Bowl on this one as well really cool and I think what's funny about this particular card is if you remembered through all of these cards he had like an af like kind of a a white man afro if you will with the mustache and all that this is extremely early on in his career this image um, so really cool um, I hope y'all enjoy these. Um, I absolutely, these are probably my favorite videos to make right now. Not just the video itself, but the whole, uh, the whole thing, man. The getting the cards together, um, even deciding how much I want to send as a donation. Writing the letter is actually a lot more fun than just writing another TTM letter. Um, getting the stuff together that I also add in my packages that I kind of really don't want to disclose. <laughs> Checking the mail, you know, six, seven days after I sent it off to see if they returned. So, really cool. I hope you all enjoy it. This thing's just tickle me to death. Till next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye, doodles.